What's up, y'all? Brown's Day Movement back at you with another exercise video. I hope you are staying awesome, gnarly, and wild. So, you know how I do. I always love making the world move. Yes, you got to stay moving. What is the Brown's Day Movement about? Movement. No matter what you're doing in life, whether it's your job, your life, your fitness, your artwork, your car, whatever you do, make sure you stay moving. So, I know I haven't posted a video in a while because I have been busy. I've got a lot of new things coming up, so stay tuned for mid-September. There's some surprises coming, so y'all stay tuned, y'all. As if, if some of y'all Martin fans, y'all would know exactly what that is. So, today's exercise video is all about mind-body connection like it usually is, but today's going to be different because I have a special guest. It's a celebrity. Well, you know, I'm just joking, but yeah, she could be. You never know one day, but I have a special guest that's going to be doing hip thrusters with me. I'm going to show you how to do it without weight so you can connect with your mind, body, and soul without weight. And then my special guest is going to show you how to do the hip thrust with weight. So let's get to it. I hope y'all are ready because I know I am. Oh, there is one huge, huge surprise that y'all have not seen. The Mohawk is actually on retirement. Now, actually not retirement. It's on a break right now. Your boy's Mohawk is gone for now. So that's why if in case you're looking at me with the hat on, it's a little different. But... Just know the Mohawk will be back. So let's get to it, y'all. Hip thrusters. Uh, when you're doing this, this exercise, we're going to do four sets. So, uh, so the video is going to be only one set, but it's going to be a how-to video. But when you do it, do four sets of 20, 10 to 20 reps, whichever one you want to do. I'm going to do 20 reps, and if you want to do weight, you can do 10. But make sure they are slow and controlled because you want to connect with your mind, body, and soul. <sighs> yes. So let's get to it. One, two, three. All right, y'all, so my special guest is my sister. So here she is doing hip thrusters, you can see, with weight. So, and you know, she is doing them slow control. And so what you want to do is position your back and your shoulders on the, uh, the, the bench. And you position the weight onto your pelvis. And this will help, uh, you know, squeeze the glutes. It's going to hit the gluteus maximus, the minimus, the minimus, and the minimus. I actually said that wrong, so <laughs> don't quote me on that. But... <laughs> but <laughs> uh, we'll retake. All right, that was a blooper, y'all, but I'm keeping it in there because we're keeping it real, natural, and moving. But just like I said, my special guest is my sister, so here is her doing weighted uh, hip thrusters. Just like that, slow controlled. This is exactly how you want to position your body to make sure you target your glutes, each part of your, uh, your glutes. And you want to know why? Glutes are very, very, very important because without glute strength, your, you know, your core is going to be weak and then you're always going to get injured. So you want to make sure you always target your glutes at all times. And you see the, the tight squeeze. That's exactly what you want to do. That's exactly how you want to do the weighted hip thrusters. You know, and if you don't have dumbbells, you can always use a kettlebell or a barbell. Or you can use no weight, which I'll show you with no weight here in a, in a few. Slow and controlled. So, yes, my special guest is my sister, Felicia. You know, you can follow her on Instagram at Living Plant Based Lifestyle. <laughs> but, and, uh, and we'll, pull, we'll go on to the next one, and I'll show you how to do it with no weight. Thanks, sister Felicia. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So... This is how to do hip thrusters with no weight. So, there we go. Same form. Push it down a little bit. All right. So, so you can see the, uh, the tight squeeze. Same movement that uh, my special guest did, but except when you uh, get in the same position. And what I do is I put my hands like this to keep myself leveled since I have no weight. And so push it down a little bit. So, and you want to squeeze up. And I have a hurt knee, so I'm, I'm just making sure I'm controlling my knee really good since I have no weight. So if you had weight, the weight would be right here. And that's why I mimic the weight is putting my hands here. And each time you go up, you want to tightly squeeze, just like I said before. You're going you're gonna to hit each part of the glute right here. Oh, actually, I'll come up so you can see. So you're going to hit each part of the glute from here and here is when you're doing these hip thrusts. And I know a lot of people get worried about doing hip thrusters in the gym because they feel like it's too sketchy or somebody's looking at them or like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. And, and guys have a problem doing it, but look, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, it's all about fitness. You know, when you get in the gym, take your insecurities out of there, check your ego at the door, and just like, if you want to work out this kind of technique, do it. No matter who is there, as long as you're improving yourself day by day, that's all that matters. Never worry about what people are doing or looking at you at the gym because it's not about like that. Because you want to keep your body moving. That's what the Browns and Movement is all about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So try this hip thrusters out if you haven't tried it. And I know it's not a great uh, workout that I've invented, but it's been done for years. But add it to your workout routine. Improve your glutes because it'll help your core because you got to stay good. And plus, I mean, you might want to look good to go out or look good for the first day of school because school kids are back in school. But like I said before, stay tuned. I got big things coming in mid-September. It's a lot of new things, so stay tuned. All right, Browns and Movement, I'm gone. Till next, one, two, three, peace.